Welcome to the 98th video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in C. So now we've made the small fixes to the engine that uh, I wanted to do, we can now think more about the main features that we want to add in the upcoming videos. The two big ones, of course, are one, the input thread, and two, the lazy SMP, so the parallel processing using a shared hash table. At the same time, what we're also going to do is fix the replacement scheme in the hash table because it's causing truncated PVs and actually hitting the performance quite hard as well. Now before we go ahead with the code in this video, I want to explain a little bit about how the input thread is going to work and why we're going to have to make a little bit of a structure change to the code that Vice already has. So this slide explains, hopefully, how the input thread uh, is intended to work. So what we're going to have is we're going to have one thread when the program starts that I've called thread1 here, and that's going to listen for input as we are now in the uci.c file. So we just keep waiting for some kind of input from the standard input, and when it comes, we process that command. So we set up the board or set the depth or something like this. What we want is when the go command is received from this listening for input, that it actually starts up a second thread, so thread two in parallel, and that's actually going to do the searching. And once it's started that thread, thread one will actually just return and listen for any kind of input. That means then in the search thread, we don't actually need any polling for input to listen to some commands, and that's actually gonna make things a lot easier and cleaner to manage. According to the UCI protocol, when the engine is thinking, one of two commands will be sent to the engine, either stop or quit. If the stop is sent, then what we'll do is we'll set the search info to stop and immediately then wait and try and join thread two. What that means is the program will sit there and wait for thread two to end before continuing. So we'll be blocked for a very, very short space of time. Because we've set the flag thread two that's searching, we'll see this flag and then it'll just exit the search as it just now. The threads will join and it'll go back to listening for input. The issue we're going to have in the code is actually here when we launch the search thread. When we launch the search thread, the first thing we're going to need to do is make a copy of the position, which I've highlighted in orange here. That means whatever position was set up in thread one from the GUI, we want to take that position, but make a copy of it and give that then to the search thread to search. And the reason we're going to do that is because one, we should keep it separate from the original thread, which is the GUI setting things up. And two, later on, we're going to have multiple threads anyway, and each is going to need its own copy of the position to start searching. The way the code is structured at the moment actually makes a really, really big problem here with the copying of the position. If we look at the position structure, we actually have this S board with all of our board information in it. You might remember we actually put the hash table inside there. Now, when I saw this after all these years and going back to Vice, I actually scratched my head and wondered why we'd done this. But nevertheless, it seems to be inside this board structure. And of course, if we then copy the position for a search thread, we'll actually be copying the hash table as well. And this is probably not uh, a good idea. Certainly later on when we do lazy SMP, we're going to want each thread to be able to access the same hash table. That's the point of lazy SMP. And therefore, if we go and make our own individual copies, they're not going to be able to do that and we're not going to get any performance increase. So the first thing we have to do with the code is actually move the hash table outside of this structure. And what we're going to do is make it simply a global variable that is accessible throughout the lifetime of the program. So back into our code then, the first thing I'm actually going to do is just jump into the terminal. Inside the terminal, I'm going to run vice, uh, type UCI, and then actually run an FEN here and just record some of the data that we get before we make some of the uh, changes to the hash table. So I'm going to do position FEN, and this FEN I'm using here is from a very famous uh, test suite, and I'll put it in the description as well. It's just got pieces over the board, and it's basically not the start position. So I'm going to put this position and just type uh, go depth 10. What I'm going to do with the magic of a little bit of editing is just make a snapshot of this here and save it as an image so that I've got a reference to make sure that the changes we make to the hash table are consistent with what we had before. Okay then, so I've got this image here as reference, which I'm going to put off to one side and we can use that basically, or I can use that to make sure that I don't completely destroy what we've already got with the hash table. Okay then, so back into the code, I've got def.h open here. And the first thing we need to do is we need to find the hash table inside the board structure. So here it is for me on line 126. So I'm going to cut that out of there because I'm going to need to type the same thing again. Get rid of it from the board structure. Let's drop down to where we have all of the global variables. And here, let's just type extern and put the hash table in there. We're also going to need to have it defined somewhere in an implementation file. So we'll go inside the pvtable.c and at the top of pvtable.c, we'll actually define our global hash table there. Not the best code structure in the world, but it'll do for what we need. 
Next, what we're going to need to do is update each of the functions in this file so that we actually reference the global hash table. Now, one way of doing that, if I just look at this red underline here, would be just to remove the pos and the arrow so that we're referencing our hash table variable because it's called hash table with a, a capital H and capital T. I don't feel quite comfortable doing that, however, because that will mean that these functions are directly coupled to this global variable. And if we want to change things in the future, then uh, that could make things a bit difficult. So what we'll actually do is send a pointer to the hash table as an argument to the function. So scrolling right back up to the top then, I'll try and not get this wrong, hopefully. But what we're going to do then is send in a pointer to the hash table into this function, if I can type correctly anyway, we will. So we'll say hash table pointer to and a pointer to the hash table. Now inside this function, we're not actually referencing the table anywhere, but we will be when we probe a PV move. So what we're going to need to do is send that in along with our position. So we have a probe PV move on line 12, and we've also got run for me anyway down here on line 25. Now we've got red lines at the moment because we haven't updated yet the uh, definition actually of this function here. We've also got a red line here because I guess the external definition of this actually doesn't have this either. So I'll drop back into defs.h, scroll down into the functions and try and find PV table. Here it is. And we can update that one here as well. Whilst we're here, what we're also going to do is add this entry onto store hash entry and add it here in the definition onto probe hash entry as well. And then also pro PV move can also be updated like this as well, because that's going to need a pointer to our table as well. So save that, drop back into PV table and then clear hash tables. OK, pointed to the table Init hash tables. OK, pointed to the table itself. Pro uh, hash entry was one of the ones that we needed to adjust. So I'll paste our pointer in there into the definition. And then actually uh, before I go back to the function itself, I'll uh, paste it into store hash entry and paste it into pro PV move as well and save the file to hopefully the IntelliSense can catch up a little bit. And now we need to do is simply replace pos hash table wherever we see it with the reference to our table. OK, a little bit of editing speed up, but hopefully you've managed to replace all of the pos hash table references just with the table reference. I don't have any red underlining, so I'm fairly confident that uh, in pvtable.c things are OK. Now it's time to go into search.c and we're going to have to fix some references in here as well. If I scroll up to where I can see some red on the right hand side, we can see that uh, we've got this pos hash table here, which is coming into the clear for search. So what we want to do then is add a reference to our hash table in here as well. So we'll say s hash table uh, pointed to table again. And then inside here, just as we've done in the other file, we need to replace these references as well. In the quiescence function, I don't think we're referencing the hash table at all. We certainly shouldn't be anywhere usually in a quiescence search. We're not. That's good. In alpha beta, of course, we are. So again, after the search info here, let's add on a reference to the table again. So a pointer to the table, which we'll send into it. And again, whilst inside here, we need to find the references to the hash table. So the first one is this uh, pos hash table here. And also you can see here that we've got probe hash entry. So we need our position and then the table as well. Then a bit further down here, we're not doing anything with the hash table at all. If I scroll down a little bit more with the call to alpha beta here, we have a red underline because we need to send in our hash table and that came straight after the info. So we'll send in table here as well. I'm just going to double check that at the top here that I haven't made a, a mess with the order of those. No, it came after the info. Good. So our call to alpha beta here should be OK. But actually, now I think about it, there's also one in the null move, isn't there as well? Yep. So I'll put a table on here as well. So that should get rid of that and just control nest to save the file. Hopefully IntelliSense can catch up and help me from making some kind of error. Here we're storing the hash entry. So we want also to have a reference to our table here as well. That should be OK. And then further down here, we're also storing the hash entry. So we'll drop the table in here as well. So that should be the alpha beta updated. So we're getting to the end now. We've also got the search position. So again, we want s uh, hash table like so, and then a pointer to a table, which we'll be sending in from uh, the UCI dot uh, C, I think. And here again, we need to replace uh, the references. So we've got clear for search. We need to add the reference to the table there. And then down in here, do we have any red lines or anything like that? Yet we've got the get PV line where we also want to send in a reference to the table and we need to send this one in here as well. And I'm looking at that and I've got this feeling as always that I've made some kind of error. Yes, I have. Here is one. I need to send it into the alpha beta. 
Uh, I don't have any other red text as far as I can see in the file, so maybe everything is okay here because VS Code with the IntelliSense is usually uh, pretty good these days. What I do need to do is drop into this validate.c, I think, because I think we've got, or I thought we had some references also inside here. Yeah, I can see that we've got it here with the hash table. So what we'll do again here is we'll just send in uh, an argument for the hash table, so it pointed to table, and then I can uh, drop this. Uh, inside here instead of the original reference that we had which was from the position hash table. The problem here I guess is that the definition for this now is going to have changed inside uh, defs.h so let's just copy this argument here drop into defs.h and can I find this anywhere here here it is debug analysis test so I just drop that uh, in here from validate.c that should fix any of the issues that we've got with this and that should more or less be it apart from actually I think uci.c that's going to have some errors as well isn't it so here I can see that we've got uh, init hash table down here what I'm going to do here is actually fairly brutally just delete this and use the global hash table we have another reference to it here for the debug analysis test so I'll drop in uh, the global hash table here as well we could if we wanted maybe send this in as an argument as a pointer into here but the program basically always starts from this loop so I feel okay more or less about using the global hash table here so I think that's everything we need actually it's not everything we need is it because I need to go back into defs.h and I think actually some of the function definitions inside here haven't been updated have they so we've updated s hash table here but if I go to the search somewhere where are the search functions here we are with search position we actually need also to send in the hash table to this one as well and then also inside vice.c I think we're referencing the hash table as well we are so we're freeing it down here so we need to free the hash table like so down here and then I'm going to scroll up a bit and see if we've got any more red lines we have indeed okay so we'll do this in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to search pos and hash table and we don't seem to have any more references to it which is good although what I should be doing here is actually freeing the pointer to the table okay and then if I go back into UCI I think actually when we call the search function here as well we're actually not doing things correctly as well yep there's some red squiggly underline here so when we search the position here what we actually want to do is send in the hash table so again I'll just use the global hash table inside uh, UCI.c and then finally inside the validate here I think there's also search position here there is and here then we want to actually give the reference to the hash table now I've got a feeling that I still haven't got everything right here nevertheless let's jump over into the console and see if we can compile this so it has built okay I have to confess to you there is a slight edit in this where I did miss a couple of things but the, everything should be fixed now but I haven't actually run the engine yet to verify if the numbers are the same as they were at the beginning of this video so let's uh, go into running vice12 anyway and type UCI then I'll type uh, position and then FEN and paste in the FEN and type go depth and 10 I think it was and see what we get out of this so I'll drag across the image and check and yep for depth 10 we've got exactly the same no count so that's okay then so I can quit out of the engine so thanks for putting up with that one which was a little bit of a mess in the next one we're actually going to sort out how we're storing our entries in the hash table and see if we can't improve the output and the performance of the hash table a little bit